Good morning, YouTube. My name is Alex Hubbard. I am a senior systems admin with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to unlock an account and also configure the account lockout policy GPO. So let's jump into our domain controller here and open up the server manager dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do, uh, I haven't configured any of this yet, so we're going to go set the account lockout uh, threshold. So in order to do that, we need to go to tools and we need to come over to uh, group policy objects, oh, excuse me, group policy management. And you can see th this is configured in the default domain policy. We're going to leave it that way for now. And you can come over to, if you click on the default domain policy and come over to the settings tab, we can look and see, if we scroll down here, this gives you all the, uh, this gives you all the uh, configuration um, and I don't see it's not it's not configured out of the box by default it's set to zero so what we need to do is we need to edit this policy and we need to come over to and you can you can get into this editor uh, by right clicking on the policy and going to edit and it is a computer configuration policy so we're going to go to con under the computer configuration uh, heading here and we're going to arrow down on policies it's in the Windows settings section and security settings let's pull this over so you guys can see it maybe all right you're not going to cooperate here local policies and i'm sorry i'm sorry account policies account lockout policies and you can see none of these are defined so the account lockout threshold is the one that we need to define first and then it will go and def define the other two policies and by default it's set to zero um, so we're going to set it to three uh, attempts and basically and now it's prompting you it wants the uh, suggested setting set for the account lockout duration and reset account lockout counter after so basically what this setting is doing is it's saying hey after robert smith tries to log in three times unsuccessfully i'm going to lock his account out for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes it resets so now that we've set this let's uh let's close out of here let's go over to our Windows 10 lab machine here and I am going to see if we can we're gonna to have to pull we're gonna to have to pull the policy down Let's see if it logs in okay we are logged in as Robert Smith and normally in a production environment I'm trying to show this in a video uh, normally the group policy would sync up automatically after 90 minutes um, we're, I'm going to kind of help it along here and by to do that we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to run the command gp update space slash force and what this is going to do is it's going to force the workstation to go out and talk to the domain controller and say hey do you have any new policies for me can I apply them and we're going to run that command sometimes it may ask you to log off or reboot go ahead and do that because some policies do uh, require you to log off or reboot in order to take effect so this one does not and one other command will show you let me do gp result space dash uh, slash r and that's going to show you what policies are uh, applied and because i'm actually logged in as robert smith it's probably not going to show me the computer policies it's not so we'll scratch that let me log out of here let me restart it for for kicks. We're going to restart this uh, just to make sure, and then we're going to try and log in as Robert Smith and see if it locks his account out. And then I'm going to show you how to unlock it. Okay, now we've got our lab Windows 10 install rebooted. We're going to send the keys, and we're going to try and log in incorrectly as Robert Smith. So that was three tries. Let me see what happens on this try. Okay, this is what you should see if the policy is configured correctly. It says the reference account is, lo is currently locked out and may not be logged onto. So again, basically what this means is Robert's tried to log into his account three times using the wrong password. Um, the system recognizes that and says, whoa, hey, we're, gonna, we're not allowing you to log in even if you get the right password this time. And the reason for that is because there are brute force attacks out there that will just keep hitting the password um, 
you know, you can, they'll try uh, dictionary attacks and things along, things of that nature. So that's why it's very important for you to have this account lockout threshold set because if it, if it sets after, I mean, typically you see three to five uh, attempts, that's, uh, it's pretty standard for, for the industry. Um, you know, a after that it locks it out and it doesn't matter if you get the right password, it's not going to let you in. So what do you do in this situation? Uh, if you have a user that's legitimately trying to get in, cause this happens all the time. Um, you can come over to your domain controller in this case. Um, there are other ways to do it, but today we're going to show you how to do it on the domain controller. Uh, a lot of small environments. That's the way you would do it. So we're going to open up our console here and we're going to get out of group policy management and we're going to go, Oh, actually I already have it open active directory users and computers. We'll just refresh this real quick. And we're going to come over to our friend Robert here and we're going to go to the account tab. And now you can see it says unlock account. This account is currently locked out on this active directory domain controller. You want to check this box, click apply, click OK. And that resets the threshold so that Robert can log in. So now if we go back to our test machine here, open up the console and we type in the correct password, it should now let him log in. Um, that's the override. If you have a legitimate user that's sitting at their desk says, Hey, I locked my account out. Um, this happens a lot. Of, uh, a lot of times this happens, uh, in smaller businesses or even big, big businesses after somebody's changed their password. Uh, can't remember what they changed it to Changed it on a Friday, came back after a long weekend or something. I don't know what I changed it to. They guessed a couple of times, locked the account out call the help desk and that's how you, that's how you would unlock the account. Now there are other ways to do it. There are self, uh, self help, uh, options and plugins and things for active directory, but this is the basic way you would see it in a small to medium business environment. So hopefully these tips help you out. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.